please. Good morning, Your Honor. Shelly Drain for the People, P number 60249. Good morning, Your Honor. Danian Woodson on behalf of Ms. Walker, P68870. Ms. Walker, tell us your name for the record. Bernie Chevelle Walker. Ms. Woodson. Uh, Your Honor, regarding the uh, bond revocation, I didn't know which matter you wanted to address first, the PCC or the bond revocation. I'm sorry? We can do the bond revocation. Okay, regarding the bond revocation, um, Ms. Walker was actually in the River Rouge jail at the time of her court date, and unfortunately, the information that she was in custody wasn't communicated to either Wayne County or DPD, which caused her to miss her court date. Well, and the violation is that she picked up another case. She was arrested in Rouge. It's my understanding she wasn't charged in that matter. Um, her sister just wanted her off of the premises. She didn't want her uh, actually arrested or charged in that matter. Her sister's a complainant in that, in that case, Your Honor. So she's charged, but it looks like she has some charges that are forthcoming for obstructing the police officer, public intoxication, and disorderly conduct. Your Honor, I apologize. I was not aware of that. Um, however, given Ms. Walker's um, Given the fact that Ms. Walker does have strong ties to the community, I would ask for a nominal bond um, and a GPS tether with a curfew um, and perhaps an alcohol tether due to the uh, issues regarding public intoxication or allegations of public intoxication. Well, you understand I do have issues with people who are on bond to me picking up other cases. That's the problem. How did we even do it? Miss Walker, please. I understand, Your Honor. At this time, however, they are allegations. Uh, she has not been convicted of anything. Um, the incident did stem from her hanging out with her sister. Um, she was in an apartment. Um, they were hanging out. Um, her sister was her ride. Um, and she wanted her to leave, but she also didn't want to provide uh, transportation for her to go elsewhere. And she thought the solution would be to call the police. Unfortunately, she did not discuss that with Ms. Walker. So when the police came, it was a surprise to Ms. Walker. And because they had been drinking, alcohol did kind of take over the decision making. However, uh, there was no intention to uh, violate this court's orders or to um, create another situation, particularly since she's trying to resolve this present situation, Your Honor. Ms. Walker, are you employed? Yes. Where? Um, at the Little Seas Arena, I do a bit there, and then I work at Real Fresh. You said Little Caesars and where? Yeah. Little Caesars Arena and Ruth Chris, Your Honor. She's um. Like, uh, it's the little app you can go on, and you can take jobs for their events there, and doing the little seasonal stuff. I do that part time, and then I work at Real Fresh. She, she Your Honor, she, right. she, 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 right. what's wrong with it? I think the, the thing is breaking up. You mean the audio, Your Honor? No. I can't. When's the last time you worked? When is the last time you worked? Oh, shit. Uh, right before this happened, because I didn't even know what was going on. This is my. Is she cursing at me now? Huh? I said, now you're cursing at me? I can't hear you. Say so now you're cursing at me. No, I can't hear the computer is going in and out. I said I, I heard you. I heard I you didn't... first spell you the S, the S word. No, I didn't curse. I said the last time I've been to work is since I got arrested because I literally. Oh, S word. 
the thing is going in and out. I can barely hear you. I can hear you perfectly fine. Though. Oh, I'm not cursing. I'm not the only one in the room. The um, guy is literally standing right here next to me. I didn't curse. I really did. You asked me all I heard. My ears again, Miss Wilson. I can barely hear you. It's breaking up, Miss Miss Walker. Just apologize and move forward, please. Well, I apologize about the situation. I can barely hear it. It's breaking up. And Your Honor, to to answer uh, the court's question, uh, Ms. Walker was employed prior to being arrested for this uh, primary incident. Do you have a job now, Ms. Walker? Yes, I still, I still do the little Caesar Arena, and I'm hoping I still have my other job. At Ruth's Chris, Your Honor. What do you do at Little Caesars? Um, you can uh, it's an app where you can apply for all jobs that they have during the events. You can do any job they have available. Miss Walker, he's asking what you do, not how you got the job, but what do you do at Little Caesars? Whatever they have available, I might do a cooking job or do the clean up or uh, a game, whatever they got available on the app. Like they uh, have you pick a job and ask you which one you want to do. It's like a temp service thing. I do it for the extra money when they got the events downtown. And Your Honor, I believe she's on the service staff at Ruth's Chris, if she still is allowed to. Okay. Um, Your Honor, I, I believe that this I believe that this court asked when the last time she worked was. I, I, Before I got yeah. arrested. When is the last time you worked, Ms. Walker? Before I got arrested in River Ridge. Because I didn't even know I was like there. Miss Walker, just answer the question. When were you arrested? Last week. I think that was like either Wednesday or Thursday. I've been in jail so long because they didn't bring me over until like two days and a half later. So it's been like eight days. I think I've been in jail or six. If I'm correct, yeah. Because it was like either like uh, what's your recommendation? Your Honor, um at this time I, I I would ask that there be no change, uh no change in bond and then a an an exam set uh, as soon as possible. That would be my request. And your honor your Honor, she is employed at Ruth's Chris. Admittedly, the Little Caesars Arena job seems to be um, temporary and something she just picks up from time to time. But she did state that she is a cook at Ruth's Chris. She was employed there prior to being arrested approximately eight days ago. I do believe that if she is allowed a nominal bond with a tether, she probably can have her employment reinstated at Ruth's Chris at the very least. And Your Honor, since these are still allegations. I'm sorry? I was talking to Miss Walker. Miss Walker, you work at Ruth Chris. Yes. How long have you worked there? I've been working there over six months. A year before that, I used to work there. Worked there was approximately eight days ago. No, I, yes, since I got arrested, but my I've been working there so long, and I got a good resume. They most likely won't. Miss Walker, just just answer the question and be quiet, please. Thank you. Yes, I can barely hear. You. There's some mental health issues going on here. No, I don't believe so, Your Honor. Who's your supervisor, Miss Walker? Who's your supervisor? Oh, no. Oh. Her name is Alexandria. You know the number there? No, I do not. It's in my phone. Is it the one in Troy? Yes. No, 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 no. Um, uh, Oakland, uh, Nova. Nova, me. What do you do? You say you cook at Woods, Chris? Yes. Everybody's breaking up. How much can you post in mind? Huh? 
How much can you post in Vine? I can't. Why not? You have two jobs. Because I don't use credit cards. And I don't... What's your credit card? They want cash. I don't have any cash on me. I don't have... I don't talk to none of my family at all. It's just me. I just happened to talk... My sister just came back to Michigan. So we just started back building a relationship. She didn't know what was going on with me. I'll let you out and put you on house arrest. How are you going to provide for yourself? How are you going to eat? You said what? You said I'll how? Let you house arrest. How are you going to provide for yourself? How are you going to eat? I can go to the bank and get money out. I don't have a card though. You're not. You huh? How do you get to know by? Uh, the apps. I get like the little cards from the store, the little gift cards, and I use the apps. Or they deliver out there, they deliver to your house. You said you cook there, right? Yes. So you have to go there to cook, right? Yes. At work. How do you get there? Oh, I'll take a cab. I don't drive. Or I ask somebody to pick me up. Or one of my coworkers, they usually take me away. I'll pay them gas money. Your story sounds very shaky. Well, Your Honor, if, if I may, what she's saying is she's not in a position to post bond from jail. She doesn't have someone who can do that for her. And all of her money are, is in her bank accounts. And there's no uh, other. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about her employment sounds shaky. No, well, I she, I she works at Ruth Chris. She's been there for the past six months. She either takes a cab or gets a ride to work with coworkers. The Little Caesars Arena is shaky, but that's the job that she says she picks up every now and again when she wants extra work or extra money because it's an app. You can just see what's available, and she puts in a bid, and if it's accepted, then that she works. But... This... I'm sorry? I was asking, can you see me? No. Um, I can see you now. I switched the view on the screen. I was telling you to hold up. I'm calling Chris. Oh, sorry. I can't see I still got a job. I ain't sure. How you trying this up? I can't hear you now. No one's there yet. It's too early. I want to verify her employment before I address her mind. I understand, Your Honor. Uh, should we come back this afternoon? You can do that. Okay. Um, what's a good time? We'll wait the defendant's presence. Okay. So I'm going to hold the county jail up. Okay, so should I log back on around 1? 1? 1.30. 1.30, okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a great day, everyone. See you later. Thank you. Oh, oh Ms. Wilson, let's do the PCC yes. right. Okay, all righty. Are you demanding an exam? Yes, Your Honor. The court will continue to plead not guilty and set this matter for preliminary examination. How's the server court at 1045? One moment, Your Honor. Your Honor, I have a 
trial that may start that day or may be adjourned. Um, more than likely will be adjourned, but I would just ask for a different date just in case. Is that trial, is that defendant in custody? No, they're on bond. Okay, well, this defendant is in custody. Okay. And very well, may still be in custody, depending on what turns out today. Okay. okay I'm going to set bond at 25000 cash surety in the meantime until I'm able to verify her employment. If I am able to verify her, her employment and everything that she says is true, I'll set the bond at 25000 cash, I mean, 25000 personal with the GPS tether. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. And I will see you this afternoon. Have a great day, everyone. Now, what's going on? Oh, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. She had, she had, she had an alcohol test. So, she violated the alcohol test. Okay. We'll talk about it some more this afternoon, Ms. Wilson. Okay, Your Honor. Thank you. You're all set, Mr. Walker. Okay, so what is going on? Because it's going in and out, so I can barely hear you. I'm checking your story out about your employment. Okay, cool then. So I got to come back to court this afternoon? No, we're going to do it without you. Okay. If the story checks out, I'm going to give you a personal bond with the tablet. Okay. I may do house arrest as well. As well as a no alcohol tablet. I'll see how things come out, what I'm able to learn. Okay. So do I. Sorry about that. No problem. I was just explaining to her what's going to happen now. Okay. Yeah, they're updating the internet in my area. So I'm trying to work on my phone on the data and it's not doing very well. You're all set. Have a good day. All right. Now. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ms. Wilson, Ruth, Chris, and Novi, they say that they do not have an employee there by the name of Brittany Walker, and they're not familiar with the name whatsoever. That that um, tracks with my information as well, Your Honor. Oh, so you knew that? I called in between the morning break and today, and yes, I did find that out. So why is she lying to me? I don't know, Your Honor. I don't know either, which means I can't trust her, right? So I'm going to set her bond at $50,000 cash here in GPS tell house arrest. She's able to make that. Okay. Let me recall that. Okay. Parents, please. Oh, I appreciate Good afternoon, Your Honor. Shelly Drain for the People, P number 60249. I'm sorry. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Danny and Woodson on behalf of Ms. Walker, P68870. And Your Honor, I waive Ms. Walker's presence. All right. So after I had a brief sidebar conversation with you all, because I did in fact call Ms. Chris Novi, and I spoke to someone who indicated that they are not aware of Brittany Walker and that she is not employed there. I could tell something was a little, little off with Ms. Walker while she was talking to me earlier today, which aroused my suspicion. And I doubted that she worked at Ms. Chris, particularly cook. She doesn't strike me as a cook at Ms. Chris. Although I've never dined at the Novi location, I have been there on a number of occasions. But in any event, um, in that she's lied to the court, I can't trust her. 
I think that she's a danger to the community. In fact, she's um, her tether violation was that she violated her alcohol tether, as well as being picked up by the River Rouge Police Department. So the court is going to revoke, revoke her bond, set the new bond at $50,000 cash shield, GPS tether house arrest if she's able to make that. That's for, again, for the protection of the community. Right. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a great day as well. You too. Right. Thank you. Now that concludes the doctor for today. Hope to see you tomorrow. Same back station, same back station.